17. Calculate the percent enantiomeric excess for a solution that contains 16 grams of R2-bromobutane and 4 grams of S2-bromobutane. What we need to do is we need to convert the mass in grams to a percentage. So let's start with the R isomer. So we have 16 grams of the R isomer and out of a total of 16 plus 4. So out of a total of 20 grams of the two stereoisomers. We're going to multiply this by 100%. 16 divided by 20 times 100. That's going to be 80. Now, to calculate the percentage for the S isomer, it's going to be 4 grams out of the total of 20 grams for the solution times 100%. If you do 100 divided by 20, you'll get 5 times 4. That'll give you 20%. So we have a solution that is 80% R, 20% S. To calculate the percent enantiomeric excess, it's simply the difference between these two values. So if we take, if we subtract 80% by 20%, we'll get 60%. So that is the percent enantiomeric excess for the solution. It's 60% R. Now let's think about what this means. If the enantiomeric excess is 60%, that means the other 40% is racemic. So a solution that is 60% enantiomeric excess, so to speak, that means 40% is a racemic mixture. The other 60% is the excess of R or of the R isomer. So the 40% that is a racemic mixture 20% of that is R and 20% of that is S, these two being equal. And then we have the other 60% which is R. So we have a total of 80% that's R and only 20% that's S. But this part here represents the amount that is excess beyond the racemic mixture. Now this is for those of you who might be interested in joining my YouTube membership program. If you type in Organic Chemistry Tutor in the YouTube search box and click here, it's going to take you to my channel. Now if you scroll down, you could find my Organic Chemistry video playlist. And in this playlist, you could see all the videos that I have available to those in my membership program. So for instance, if you look at this video, this is a basic introduction into Organic Chemistry. It's about 42 minutes long, but the full version is an hour and 42 minutes long. And that's accessible if you decide to join my membership program. But now you not only get that video, but you also get other videos as well. So like this video on valence bond theory, you get access to the full version, which is about 33 minutes long, compared to the free version, which is 10 minutes long. And you could see it here. I have another one, resonance structures, acids and bases, pKa values for acids, IUPAC nomenclature, Newman projections, chair confirmations with ring flips. Now this video is my organic chemistry exam one review. It's a quick review of the things that you'll typically be tested on in the first semester exam of organic chemistry. The free version is about 42 minutes long, the full version is two hours long. Now over here, this is an actual practice exam with multiple choice problems and free response questions. As you can see, the free version is only 42 minutes long. The full version combined is between seven to eight hours long. Now I have other videos on stereochemistry, specific rotation, SN2, SN1, E1, E2 reactions. I have a practice test on that because that's a topic that a lot of students struggle with. So the full practice test is about four hours long. 
Again, if you join the membership program, you'll get access to that video. I have videos on alkene reactions, alkyne reactions, and this is my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 2 review. Over here, this is the practice test with about 85 questions. As you can see, the full version is 6 hours long. The free version is about 43 minutes long. In my membership program, you'll get access to alcohol reactions, free radical reactions, and of course, my Organic Chemistry 1 Final Exam Review video. The full version is about 6 hours long, but the, the first 2 hours are free. This is the last 4 hours. To find the first 2 hours that are free, here it is right here at the top of the list. So feel free to take a look at that if you want to know what you're getting if you decide to join my YouTube membership program. Now this is for those of you who want to get access to all of my video playlists and exam review videos all in one spot. So if you go to video-tutor.net and if you go here, click more, video playlists, you can get access to all the different video playlists that I have on my YouTube channel and also the final exam review videos as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.